you, Carly. Tonight we are digging deeper after the Salem Planning Commission voted to allow a local business to continue despite some proven problems with police. Now, neighbors, of course, they're angry. A city claims they're not allowed to consider crime concerns. Chris Woodard is live in Salem, and he went straight to the city today for answers. Yeah, and this is the property we're talking about. It's an old residential care facility here on Church Street. Well, the property manager didn't talk to me today, didn't return my calls, but the city did agree to meet with me, so I asked them why approve these changes despite the proven problems. Constantly police vehicles parked over there. That's why I want to get out of this neighborhood before my youngest starts school. The complaints, stories of problems. If it was a better neighborhood, I might stay. Could go on for days. I mean, there, there's something wrong here. Neighbors upset with what they say has been an increase in crime and vandalism coming from this boarding home in Northeast Salem. A room rental business that shouldn't have been here for the last six years is now being approved by some in the city. This proposed use makes sense for this property because of its unique nature. That's assuming that the property is properly managed. Currently, the property is zoned multifamily, only allowing single family or residential care, not room rentals, even though the place has been doing it for six years. But now the Planning Commission has voted to approve the change, saying they aren't allowed to consider things like neighbors' crime concerns. Where can they go? Well, the police department certainly is, is the res responsible agency for, for crime in the city of Salem. And so that's where, that's where they should take their, their concerns about crime. Police tell me they're concerned. They've been called to the property 20 times already this year, and they're still adding up the numbers. But neighbors don't understand why the city would approve a code change, making the business legal, when there have been problems. So I went to get them answers. Why is the code there? The, the code is there to um, provide for the orderly development of the city uh, in, in a way that um, will benefit today's residents and future generations. Neighbors argue they're not benefiting at all. I can't understand that because it's our neighborhood. It's not them living here. It's us that has to put up with this stuff. Why can't they consider something some would think is as important as crime rates? Well, it's just not one of the criteria in the zoning code that are, they're, they're, they're supposed to follow. Today I was also told the property managers here won't be punished despite the fact that they've been renting these rooms for a few years now. And currently that's not allowed because of the way the property is zoned. The city says as long as they're working with the city towards rezoning the property, no punishment. As for the neighbors here, they do have one more chance. They plan to appeal that planning commission decision. They hope the city council will overturn it. They'll be heard at a city council meeting in May. Reporting live in Salem, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. Thank you.